In this video, we're going to demonstrate the capabilities of the mix or match uh, discount app builder. Um, and we're going to use a use case that was provided to us by a merchant uh, in an effort to help our merchant to set up the discounts that they need. Now, a little bit about the discounts that we're setting up. Um, in fact, we have a uh, wonderful um, chart provided by the merchant that I'm going to share with you. And this is what it looks like. So the discounts we're doing are categorized into three different categories, meats, grains, fruits, each have their own item sets and the quantities for the discounts and the discount amounts. So let's just kind of work this a little bit backwards and see what we end up doing. So I'm going to open the mix or match app and I'm going to cancel out whatever I have here, make sure that everything is inactive and we'll just add a new one. And we'll call this uh, discount one. Discount one. All right. And let's just say that it's an all day event and it's always and we are discounting one dollar off okay and then we're going into the items and so here we're doing uh quantity two and um so it'll be a match trigger on every two right so we'll do the chicken first mm. nope hold on so match trigger on every two and then next and we'll go to meats and we'll grab our chicken or we'll grab the beef because those two are discounted a dollar on every two right so and then the pork is discounted 50 cents when you buy one. Okay. So here's the two for that one. And they, people have to buy either two chickens or two meats to get it. Okay. Let's see if this discount triggers. Um, so we'll go to register and save this. We're going to go to actually just meat there, just the category. So we're going to grab one chicken. And we're going to grab another chicken. There's a dollar discount. And same can be true with beef. We'll grab, you know, like that. And then we can grab another one of these. Like that. And the discount is triggered because two are bought. Okay, so, so far so good. Then we're going to the mix or match and we're going to add another discount. That basically says that, from what I understand, there's like one um, is fifty cents discount, and then three is a dollar fifty. So that's like this. So we're gonna do discount two. All right, all day event recurring always, and this one is 50 cents off, and it's match trigger on all items after first one, right? And it's um, meat, uh, pork, right? So, from what I understand, the pork gets discounted basically all the time for one item a discount is 50 cents for three items is buck 50 which is the same as 50 cents for one and that happened so now we have two discounts running concurrently and let's go ahead and test that out in a register app so we'll go ahead and save that we'll go to meats we'll, we'll grab uh, one chicken nothing happens we get another chicken a discount happens we do four chickens another so on every two chickens we get a discount so that's good then we go do the same thing with our beef item you know one item uh, the other item there's the discount 
And then we go into our pork, and the pork right away should get discounted. So we'll just use one pound, uh, like that. And there's the discount two, and it's triggering per pound. So let's go ahead and grab pork of 10 pounds, and that should be $5. Uh, there it is, discount two, $5. So that part is done. So, so far we have set up uh, the meats, right? So now let's do our grains and oats. And looks like wheats and oats are exactly the same as the pork. So I can just go and edit that one, right? So it's our discount to edit. Right, and all I have to do is just add the other two items into it, which are in a grain category. There's my grain. Da -da 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 -da. Grain, grain, grain. So, wheat and oats both are discounted at 50 cents uh, per one item or basically yeah the same thing so there it is there's that we did the grains and oats so that's going to trigger all of those discounts and then what's left is cherries and blueberries which basically are not discounted at all and um, i believe we're done so let's just go ahead and run these examples here um, so Say example number one is people are buying chicken, uh, beef, pork, wheat, oat, cherry, and blueberry, right? So let's go ahead and save this. We're going to go to meat and we're going to say chicken, beef. Let's just keep it at one. No. Well, delete uh, beef one like that. So, oh, wait, two. So quantities are two, right? So let me just get rid of these. Uh, so uh, chicken, two. Boom. There's the chicken at two. Uh, beef, two. Uh, beef, one dollar. Like that, ten dollar and twice. Let's just call that twice. Done. There's that. Then we have our pork, one. So it's just one pound, okay. And then we have our wheat, oats. Uh, yeah. So we go wheat. Those are in the grains. Wheat, one pound. Oat, one pound. Uh, and then we go to fruits and do cherry. So here's my cherry, one pound of cherry, and we do one pound of blueberry. Mm, blueberry. All right, and so in the end, we ended up doing a discount beef, uh, two pounds, well, two were bought, I'm assuming like uh, $1 was discounted. Uh, chicken, one was discounted, was two was bought. Pork, one was bought, 50 cent was issued. Wheat was bought. 50 cents was issued, oat flake was bought, 50 cents was issued, cherry and blueberry did not get a discount. I believe that's the use case that's provided in this email. Thank you.